you know here and today we'll be playing through episode one of Caravan. Caravan came out yesterday on the 30th of September and it's got a little bit of RPG style elements in it though it's mainly a strategy management style game. It's by It Matters Games and Daedalic Entertainment so we'll be able to see what type of uh, gameplay composition that it's brought into it. So we just go with the new game. We'll call our character Thaddeus. Let's go and see what it's like. Prologue, Iram of the Pillars. At the beginning of our time, legends were born on the Arabian Peninsula, which still live on today. One of those legends is about Iram of the Pillars and its unbelievable fate. You are the heir to the throne of Iram. Up until now, you've enjoyed a life of luxury within the palace walls, never having to work for anything or anyone. But that's all about to change. Ah, uh, do I really have to, Father? We have everything right here in our kingdom. I would rather stay in the garden and enjoy this beautiful day. Every member of our family needs to learn the foundations of trade. What made our city as wealthy and radiant as it is today? Wow. And he's looking pretty wealthy and radiant. Leading a caravan is one of those foundations and your mother and I think you are old enough for the responsibility. But first, I have a small task for you. I recently found this ring under the divan. And actually, funny story about that, it all began with Yusuf. Oh, well, never mind. Go to the bazaar, find a merchant that's willing to buy it from you. Go on. Alright. Got ring. Our inventory, show us the slots that it's got here. Additional heroes and animals will add inventory slots. How much we can hold and we need to destroy items to free up inventory slots. And we can't move if we're holding too many. Okay. Quest items don't take up inventory slots. Righto. Let's go sell that ring to this lady in the market. Okay, so this is our inventory. That's the uh, merchant's inventory and that's the trade window. So let's sell past all that. Let's sell this ring to her. So it's going to sell for 120. That's all she has. And she determines whether or not she wants to pay this purchase price more or less by how valuable the commodity is to the merchant that we're selling it to so she wouldn't really care for water but if we sold textiles and tools to her do we like that very much okay so that's pretty simple cancel the trade accept the trade or haggle so we can't really haggle with uh and so we'll just click finish okay well done! Take the silver and buy three water skins from the merchant by the well. You need them for your journey through the desert. Okay, understood. Go buy some more. Greetings my fellow caravan master. Would you like to fill up your water supplies? Or perhaps I can interest you in some fine water skins. Let's buy some water skins. Okay. Good. Three water skins or we can fit three. Yep, we'll buy those. Always carefully consider how much water you need to take with you on journeys. Understood? Yep. What now? Uh, take my dromedary. It's loaded with goods. Take it to Morsha and sell the goods there. Okie dokie. Without being taken advantage of. Hey, okay, Uncle Yusuf. I'm pretty sure that's straightforward. Woo! We got a camel. We got stuff on it. Well, I suppose that's all that's left me to wish you to a pleasant journey. Uh, two, who's coming with me? No, you'd rather travel on your own, but your mother and I insist you that my brother go along. <laughs> but Uncle Yusuf has to come with us. Oh, come on, it's been so long since I've visited Mosha. I know a lot of the stories I can tell you on the way. We'll have fun. Trust me. Okay. Say so. With this map, we can plan our journey. The road to Mosha has already been penciled in. Now we have everything, let's be off. Okay. Got the gold up there. Or gold. We got the water up here. But our inventory is the extra items that Camel has given us. Map. 
Okay, so we're already in Iran. Go to Musha. Travel, we we'll use 13 water. Um, we do actually have an ability on our main caravan master. This is our battle abilities as our haggling. General artifacts, if we pick any up, we've actually got a skill. Skills are taught by guild masters after raising your rank. And you've got extra auxiliaries and animals down here. They can be dismissed by clicking the like icon below their portrait. It doesn't use up any water on this one. So it decreases water consumption by 5% per auxiliary. We'll put that on and we'll go to Mosha. Go 12 and 13. We have to buy less water once we get there. Okay, so we've come across this camp. It calls out as you see to approach. Stranger, I have a donkey and auxiliary who are causing me nothing but bad luck. Please, just a Joshma and I'll let you take one off my hands, okay? What's the donkey about? Donkeys are tough animals who can carry things and goods. Think about it, what's your auxiliary? They help you use your talents better, improve your chance of survival if you're attacked by bandits or others. Um, yeah, we'll take him. Because we can't really, we don't really need more yet. Of, okay, thank you. I hope that cut my bad luck in half. Hope so too, Bat. Got this guy, what does he do for us? He has 10 out of 10 health and 6 speed. Okay, let's keep going. There's some trees, and a well, and a man. Underneath a lo lonely tree, you see an old man carving a piece of wood. He looks up and addresses you. Well, I'll be a wanderer. Look at this fine wandering staff I've made, wanderer. It'll be yours for only a few silver coins. A staff? That will make your journey so much easier. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. I am begging you. My wife sent me packing. I desperately need money and carving wood is all I'm good at. Well, I don't know. Please! Please, I beg you. 30 drachma, please. But I, I don't need a wandering stuff. Oh, listen. I've been standing here for hours waiting for you and your father doesn't even pay me that well. Now just take this stuff and keep your money. Oh, okay then. Father sent him? Yusef is getting involved. Yes, yes, of course. So, are you going to take that staff now? Or, fine, yeah, I'll take the staff. Very well. And now leave me alone. Okay. So, given us a staff in our inventory. And this is an artifact that we can put on. So, it just gives us plus two speed. So, you can see who it can be equipped by, the minimum rank that it needs, and the purchase and selling price. Let's continue on. We're almost to Musha. Come across now. A man in the desert, you come across a hermit. Because he has barely any water with him. Greetings, travelers. Isn't this a beautiful day? Sun burns my flesh. How can you stand this here with so little water? Huh? But the mind is stronger than flesh. We can teach you to suppress your thirst and make your water supplies last longer if you like. That sounds very helpful. Thank you. Okay, so we've already used that. and But that's what we'd be using if we wanted to decrease our water supply. And you guys don't use any water. But yeah, we'll continue our journey. And here we are, we're in Mosha. Okay, so the caravan's reached Mosha. The quest, we've got to sell all goods from Iram to the merchant. There's only one merchant to choose from, so we'll sell them to them. Ah, uh, find goods from Iram. Show me what you've loaded on your dromedary. 
Okay, so we've got some honey, gold, carpets, spices, jewelry. So you'll see he really likes the jewelry, but he doesn't so much like the carpets. He's got a negative on that. And that's can resell them for very cheap. Can't haggle with this guy. We don't might not have enough skill to do it with him yet. So we'll just finish the trade. So he's got minus 303 plus 303 for us. Okay, now change take Uncle Yusuf to train with the Guildmaster of Mosha. Okay. Guildmaster? Uh Yusuf, it's been a long time. How are you what are you doing in Mosha? There's you up and down. Oh my servant and I, he says to you with a wink. Just wanted to look around the market. I'm not your servant. Okay. Well, it seems you're ready to learn some new tricks, Yusuf. Interested in training with me? Okay. Okay, so we're going to train Uncle Yusuf up. Spend our gold, or silver, to train Yusuf. So let's do that. So Yusuf is a rogue, and he's at level 2. Um, he got some more haggling skills, and he got some more combat skills. He got an extra auxiliary slot. Well, that is that. Before we leave, you should fill up on water before the journey home. Then we'll get you back into your garden. Okie dokie. Go back home. I don't have to follow you around anymore. Okay, here's a well. Refill the water. Never know when your next sandstorm will hit. Hopefully it won't. Okay, travel back to Iram. Travel back home. Okay. Water consumption 13. I've still got that turned on. Minus 10% at the moment because we've got two. So no travel. You notice back there the camels making noises. Oh, got a dog. You see a lone jackal off in the distance. As soon as it notices you, it starts running your way. Soon you see foam dripping from its mouth and the wounds covering its body. You reach for your knife. Oh no. Okay, Uncle Yusuf has got some more training than us. In got some more skills to fight this jackal, so we'll put him on that. This is the battling mechanism, and haggling works a pretty much the same way. So it works on the variant of a rock, paper, scissors. Here on the left is you, while the opponent's on the right. Under your hero's portrait, you will find your health and the damage he will cause this round and his base combat attributes. So in the middle of the screen is the dice field. Attributes are green while your opponents are red. Between the attribute fields are values that signify the difference. And so if it's green, it means you have the advantage. Red means that your opponent has the advantage. You can increase your hero's attributes by assigning dices from the dice field to your attributes. Fight dices can be assigned to any category and your opponent will do the same so as we just saw them do that while we were going over the tutorial. All accumulated points will be dealt as damage to your opponent. You should try to increase your damage output while reducing the damage received. Then you've got some extra skills there and for each character in Yusef it's still 5 points of a combat. Or haggling category poor auxiliary and adds it to your hero work out what would be the best combination whether letting them have the 40 or the 50 we'll use that 50 and throw that up by 30 going that up by 10 and that up by 10. Yusef took some damage, but so did the Jackal. Got 50 XP for each character. Terrible beast. I'm glad you're okay. Your mother would have been heartbroken. Uh, well, where is mum? I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. Where is she? I was wondering the same thing. Looked for her in the palace this morning, but we couldn't find her. Don't worry. I'm not sure she's just in her gardens. Okie dokie. Well, I hope mum's in the gardens. We're on our journey. Oh, we didn't make it far before we got attacked by that jackal. 
Oh, wow. Pretty sandy. As you travel back to Iram, you see a frightening scene. The skies are black and a gigantic storm seems to have gripped the whole area. As you try to get through the storm, but you can barely breathe. You look around and realize you're... Where did Uncle Yusef go? Like, auxiliary Brit died. If Auxiliary Brit died, did Uncle Yusef die? You seem to have lost sight of the others. Even though you yell against the howling of the storm, the only answer you get is a loud humming sound. Oh no. Maybe we'll find Yusef back at home. I hope. Two days, three days into the trip. Get back home. Hopefully, Yusef will meet us there. Hopefully, he didn't die too. Oh, wow. As you enter the city, you are faced with the enormity of the disaster. The storm seems to have destroyed Iram completely. You don't see a soul until suddenly you make out your father's shape in front of you. My beloved Thaddeus, thank the gods you made it here in one piece. We have to leave this place quickly. Everyone else has already fled. What happened, Dad? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's not waste our time. I know a Kanban Sari close by. Come on, let's hurry. Where's Mum? Why isn't she here? I, I don't know. She was with me when she... I'll, I'll tell you everything later. Let's... Father hugs you and together you flee the city. Oh, it's mum. Okay, flee our ram to the nearby Canvansary. Uh, what's that? Wow, that's all the way over there. Might be able to get there. And water consumption, five... 14 hours, okay. We'll head to the Canvansary and then we'll call it the end of episode one. We'll get Dad to a safe place. Oh no, and Storm again. Ghostly figure races towards you from out of the storm. Dad? Beanie? Aaron, you fool, what have you done? The fate of the entire kingdom is on you. Father, what's going on here? What is this creature? Well, I will try to stop the creature. Here, take your mother's charm so you will never forget us. Now, go. But I have so many questions. Go, run, and you come here, evil demon. That's a gin. That, that's a genie. The charm. Give it back. Oh no. What has he done? He just... Did I just die? What if I got... Oh no. I got too many water skins. Can I compile them? No. I have to destroy extra ones. Dad must have brought extra water skins with him. On episode 2 we'll continue with chapter 1 and we'll see... What's what's going on? What what's this charm about? We just saw a gin. Did Dad just died? We lost Uncle. What else? What else can go wrong? We have no home. We have nothing. Be sure to like and subscribe below, and we'll see you all next time.